I am deeply disturbed and concerned of the attacks against the peaceful religious community of Chi Na Than followers from 8 to 10th December in Vietnam. During those days, uniformed and undercover police, as well as local communist party officials, terrorized the residents of Phuoc Hue Pagoda. This forced its abbot to consent to a 31st of December deadline for several hundred Buddhist monks and nuns to vacate the pagoda. I am alarmed by the reports that the attackers assaulted monks and nuns violently. The violent expulsion of the monks and nuns from Bat Na Monastery and Puok Temple an increasingly tense situation following these actions are in clear contradiction of the commitments with regard to freedom of religion and assembly, which the government of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam has undertaken as a signatory of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The authorities must inform where those already detained are and ensure that they are not ill-treated. Vietnamese authorities must immediately stop the persecution of this community. They must protect the rights of minorities and guarantee the right to practice their religion. Our government is killing our spiritual aspiration. I'm one of the 400 Bac Nha monks and nuns from Vietnam. We have come together to practice peace and non-violence as a community since 2005. Sixteen months ago, our government began to harass and repress us. In June 2009, they cut electricity and water. In September, they violently expelled us from our Bagnat monastery. After this explosion, we took refuge in Phuc Hue Temple, and the persecution escalated up until last week. The government terrorized the abbot to the point that he had to sign a promise that December 31st is the last day that we can stay together. Wherever we go now in Vietnam, we are not safe. It is the greatest catastrophe for a monk or an to be separated from their spiritual community to destroy a monastery and to kill a community of monks and nuns is a great misfortune for our traditional culture. We love our nation. We love our people. And we have devoted our whole life to practice being peace, being non-violent, as a concrete contribution to our society and to world peace. But our government and system of law in Vietnam has shown the inability to protect this peaceful community. So we ask for your protection. We ask the international community, especially President Sarkozy of France, to give us temporary asylum. As soon as our government will allow us to practice and stay together as a community, we will return right away to serve our people and not be a burden on friends.